By the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi in 1840, Māori is the predominant language of New Zealand. In the 1850s, the Pākehā population surpasses the Māori population. Māori becomes a minority language in New Zealand, and by the end of the decade, approximately 1.4 million acres of land in Ngātikahunu tribal areas has been alienated to the Crown, leaving between 3,000 to 4,000 acres for Ngāti Kahunu. In 1863, Te Waka Māori o Ahuriri newspaper is established. In 1867, the Native Schools Act decrees that English should be the only language used in the education of Māori children. This policy will later be rigorously enforced. In the 1870s, following the New Zealand Wars, Māori and Pākehā are largely segregated. Māori remains the primary language in the Māori zones. In 1871 and 1874, Te Waka Māori o New Tirani and Te Wānanga newspapers are established. In the 1890s, the Aotearoa and Huia Tangata Kotahi newspapers are published in Ngāti Kahungunu. In 1894 and 1897, the Ngāhua Mōhiotanga and Te Pukehihikurangi newspapers are established. In 1892, the Māori Parliament is established in Waipatu Hastings. They continue to meet later in Wairarapa. In 1913, 90% of Māori school children are native Māori speakers. In the same year, Hoani Te Whatahoro Jury scribes ancient teachings of Ngāti Kahungunu translated by Percy Smith. In 1921, Te Toa Takitini newspaper is published in Ngāti Kahungunu. By the 1930s, Māori remains the predominant language in Māori communities. The use of English begins to increase and there is continued support for English-only education by some Māori leaders. In the 1940s, Māori urban migration begins and continues into the 1950s where Māori families are pepper-potted into predominantly non-Māori suburbs. Māori families speak English and Māori children are raised as English speakers. In 1961, the Hun Report is released. It makes broad recommendations on the government's strategy for Māori integration into a Pākehā society. It describes the Māori language as a relic of ancient Māori life. In 1972, the Māori language petition signed by 30,000 signatories is sent to Parliament. The petition supports the teaching of Māori language and culture in schools. Reverend Hemi Pōtatau, Joseph Terito, Lee Smith and Sid Jackson of Ngāti Kahungunu are instrumental in the advocacy and presentation of the petition. A New Zealand Council for Education survey taken between 1973 and 1978 shows that only 18 to 20 percent of Māori are fluent Māori speakers and that most are elderly. In 1978, Ruatoki School becomes the first bilingual school in New Zealand. Following this, Te Aotarangi Movement, Te Wānango Raukawa and Te Kohangareo are established. Seven years after, the first Kurakaupapa Māori is established. The first Kohangareo in Ngāti Kahungunu at Taihua Marae Wairoa and O Mahu Heretaunga is launched in June 1982. In the 1980s, Ngāti Kahungunu leader Kenan Wi Te Tauhuata launches the revitalisation effort with the launch of the Hau Wānanga, which promoted succession planning in a safe and conducive environment. In 1983, the Wānanga Whare Tapere o Takitimu is launched. In 1983, Te Whare Tū Taua o Aotearoa is founded by Dr. Peter Sharples due to the renaissance of the Māori language, tikanga, and to offer the ancient art of Maurako back to Māoridom. In 1986, at the visit of Queen Elizabeth II to Hastings, Radio Kahungunu makes its first broadcast. In 1987, the Māori Language Act is passed in Parliament. Māori is declared to be an official language of New Zealand. In 1988, the current Radio Kahungunu station is established at Hawke's Bay Polytechnic as Te Toa Takitini. In 1991, Te Toa Takitini becomes officially known as Te Reo o Ngāti Kahungunu. In 1989, the Education Amendment Act provides formal recognition for Kurakaupapa Māori and Wānau. In 1989, EIT establishes the Māori unit. Later in 1994, Te Ara o Tāwhaki Marae is opened. In 1992, Te Kura Motuhake o Te Aotarangi is established in Wairua. 
A year later, Te Māngai Pāho is established to promote Māori language and culture. In 1995, a national Māori survey shows that the number of Māori adults that are fluent speakers of Māori has fallen to about 10,000. In 1996, Ngāti Kaungunu Iwi Incorporated is established. In 2001, a Health of the Māori Language survey shows that there are approximately 136,700 Māori language speakers. In 2006, Te Mahere Rautaki Haihau Manui Te Reo o Kahungunu and the Eoho Kahungunu Te Reo Māori Use It or Lose It branding is launched. In 2007, Ngāti Kahungunu Iwi Incorporated is awarded the Tohu Ha Kinakina Award by Te Taurafiri Te Reo Māori at the National Māori Language Awards. During 2013, the Ngāti Kahungunu Language Strategy, Te Mahere Rautaki Haihau Manui Te Reo o Kahungunu is reviewed by Kaunga Limited. The Kahungunu Kia Eke Ngāti Kahungunu Māori Language Strategy 2013-2027 to is launched and the inaugural Ngā Tohu Reo Māori a Ngāti Kahungunu is held. In 2013, the inaugural Te Kura Reo o Ngāti Kahungunu and the inaugural Ngāti Kahungunu Whakamana i Te Pai o Huaki Pauri Whai Kōrero Karanga Wānanga are held. Ngāti Kahungunu Iwi Incorporated is awarded with the Tohu Huia Te Reo and the Hapuri Awards at the National Māori Language Awards held by Te Taurawhiri i Te Reo Māori. As of 2016, it is estimated that around 20% of Māori can hold a conversation in the Māori language. In this modern era, it is easier than ever to learn or sharpen your skills. So our people are at a crossroads and it is up to us to choose how we move forward. If our language is lost, then our identity as Māori is sure to follow. We must acknowledge that preserving our language is the key to keeping our culture alive for all the generations to come. The power is in our hands. <laughs>